Peace talks yesterday appeared to bring some progress. Russia now claims it will drastically scale back its military operations around Kyiv, but the Biden administration and other Western leaders are skeptical, warning against taking anything Russia says at face value. And Russian bombs are still dropping on civilian targets near Kyiv and other cities. Foreign correspondent James Longman starts us off in Kyiv. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, George. We're on the outskirts of Kyiv here near Irpin, which has seen some of the heaviest fighting of this war. All morning we have heard shelling, consistent bombarding, uh, and we've seen residents trying desperately to get out of this city. This is an area that Russia says it will dramatically decrease combat operations. That is not what it sounds like. This morning, the Russian military claiming a new shift in strategy in Ukraine. They now say they're going to drastically decrease military activities around Kyiv and the northern city of Chernihiv after negotiations between Ukrainian and Russian delegations. But they do say this is not a ceasefire. And this morning, we've heard for ourselves that the battle is still raging. We came to the suburbs of Kyiv a few miles from Erpin. Residents are finally getting a chance to get out. They've been living underground for weeks. But as you can hear, the war rages. And this, this is one of the areas that the Russians say they are now going to leave. But as you can hear, there are no signs of this war stopping. We meet Taras, a local councillor here. He's volunteering to get residents out. Sure, I'm afraid to go in, he says. A normal person should be afraid. If I wasn't, I'd be mad. He lost his own home, but he's committed to getting people out. So now he's literally running back to meet up with his colleagues there, and they're going in to the town. And as we've been speaking, we've just been hearing bombardment after bombardment. But that's how committed he is to saving the people who live in his town. An hour later, a van pulls up. A small group of Irpin residents rush out, holding anything they can. She's new. It's a lie that it's safe, says this man. The gunfire and shelling continues as it was before. We managed to get out, but there are more people back there. With the bombs still falling, Ukrainian troops around the capital are still on high alert. President Zelensky warning for Ukrainians to keep up their guard. The Russian army still has significant potential to continue attacks against our state. In the US, the White House says they are seeing some Russian troops moving away from the Kyiv region, but believe the move is a redeployment and not a withdrawal. President Biden expressing his skepticism. We'll see. I don't read anything into it until I see what their actions are. We'll see if they follow through on what they're suggesting. And the Pentagon warning the Russians may be moving these troops to escalate the war in other parts of the country. We all should be prepared to watch for a major offensive against other areas of Ukraine. Even after Russia's claim to remove troops from the area, there have been several new incidents of Russian shelling into residential areas near the capital. Each day the war goes on, more and more Ukrainians are forced from their homes. The UN says more than 4 million people have now fled the country and more than 10 million internally displaced. Those leaving Erpin this morning just add to those staggering numbers. Now, what we're seeing and hearing this morning just shows why there is so much skepticism here about the Russian agreement. On, for his part, President Zelensky wants security guarantees so that if Ukraine is attacked in the future, there'd be guarantor countries like the United States who would offer weapons and a no-fly zone. But we are not there yet. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.